Hello friends, finding the unit digit of such large expressions is a very common question in most of the competitive exams like BSRB, then uh, SSC CGL, then NTSC, CAT exam and uh, TET exams also. So students must know the concept behind this. I have already posted one or two videos concerning this important trick but I am going to tell you the trick again and then we will apply the trick to find the unit digit of all these large expressions which I have written here. See, uh, whenever we have a base and we want to uh, find the power 1, then power 2, I will just write powers up to 5, 3 raised to power 4 is 81 and then 3 raised to power 5 is 243. Now see the unit digit here 3, then it changes to 9, changes to 7, changes to 1 and then back to 3. So after every 4 powers, the unit digit repeats itself. So it is in a cycle of 4 different unit digits. So for 3, base 3, you have, if the power is 1, it is 3, power is 2, it is 9, power is 3, it is 7, then power is 4, it is 1, then 4 completed. So power 5 is actually equal to 5 minus 4 that is 1. So 3 raised to power 1 has unit digit 3. So 3 raised to power 5 will also have unit digit 3. Likewise 3 raised to power 9. 9 means uh, you can eliminate 2 fours from there and uh, you will have only 1 power left out. So that power will give you unit digit 3 again. Likewise if after eliminating uh, multiples of 4 from the power you are left with 3 then the unit digit will be 7. If you are left with 2, then unit digit will be 9 and so on. So this is the trick I am going to use and it is applicable for all bases. Like here we have 7 raised to power 41. So this is actually 7 raised to power 4 into 10. This is 40. So this will get eliminated and you have only plus 1. So this is 41. So we will eliminate this and this will be 7 raised to power 1 only. Then 5 raised to power 94, 94 means 4 into, now uh, this is 24, okay 24 into 4 is 96, so 23 into 4, 92 and plus 2. So this 4 into 23 we will eliminate from here and we will have only 5 raised to power 2 left behind. Similarly we have 2 raised to power 73, we know that 72 is divisible, so 4 into 18 is 72 and we have one more power. So now eliminate all these multiples of 4's. So we have 7 raised to power 1, 5 raised to power 2 and 2 raised to power 1. Now 7 into 5 square is 25 and 2 raised to power 1 is 2. Now you can find the unit digit very easily. 7 into 5 35. So we have unit digit 5. Now 5 into 2 10. So unit digit will be 0. So your answer for the question is 0. If you don't follow this method then 5 and 2, if they occur together then your unit digit has to be 0 only but in this case you have proved that the unit digit is 0. Let's see this question. Now see 8 raised to power 82, 82, 4 into 20 is 80 and you are left with plus 2 this is 82 and 3 raised to power 57 we all know that 56 is divisible by 4 so 14 into 4 is 56 plus 1 57 so eliminate this multiples of 4 you have 8 raised to power 2 minus 3 raised to power 1 now 8 raised to power 2 is 64 so you have 4 here and 3 here so unit digit will be 4 minus 3 1 so in this case you will have unit digit 1 likewise you can find the unit digit here see 9 raised to power something so 9 raised to power 53 so 52 4 into 13 is 52 and you have 1 left, left out, then 3 raised to power 86, 4 into 21 is 84 plus 2 86 and 60 is divisible, so two, uh, 4 into 15 is 60 plus 3. So now I am eliminating all multiples of 4, so this is 9 raised to power 1, 3 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, so this is 9 plus 9 minus 8. 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 minus 8, uh, you have 9 plus 9 18, so unit digit is 8, so 8 minus 8 is 0, so unit digit will be 0 in this case. Likewise here, 7 raised to power 26, 24 is divisible by uh, 4, so 4 into 6 is 24 and you have 2 left out, 
Then 9 raised to the power 69. 69 means 70 into 4 is 68. And 1 left out. Here we have 4 into 18, 72 plus 1 left out. So eliminate all powers or multiples of 4. You have 7 square 49. And this is 9 minus 4. So this is uh, unit digit is 9 here. And 9 minus, 5, uh, 9 minus 4, 5 here. So 9 into 5, 45. Thereby giving you a unit digit of 5. So this is not actual calculation. We just want to find the unit digit in order to find the unit digit of the large expressions like this. So friend, this is the way you need to uh, find the unit digit of large expressions. And you should have this knowledge of this useful trick that the power, you know, when you take four powers, then in the fifth power, the unit digit repeats itself. In the sixth power, you will have same power, same unit digit as power two and so on. So friends, if you like this video, uh, very useful for competitive exams, do share it with all your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more uploads.